What's going on everybody? Victor here. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. So Burke and I took a trip over to Englewood, Florida to fish with our good buddy Tyler DeGraff of Always and Forever Charters. I'm going to have all of his stuff linked below. Caught a ton of bottom fish. Hope you enjoyed today's video. We're going to do two different types of baits. We got live bait on this side, the dead baiters on that side. But the dead baiters are showing up the live baiters right now. But we've been here all of 10 minutes already. Two nice keeper red grouper and a big mangrove snapper. These kids fish better than most of the people we take out. Oh, they're doing good. Go Colin. Is that another mangrove? Oh, oh yeah. Good job. Another Oh yeah, that's not a bad one at all. Another mangrove. Hey, there you go. Oh, double Get up, up over here. That's a stud. Get him up. Two twins, two fish. <laughs> and another one. And Vic's hooked up. <laughs> <laughs> I love bottom fish. What do you think you got, Vic? I think I got a mangrove. For sure. This is the first mangrove we got. That's Jordan's mangrove, and then look at the size difference. Oh yeah. That's what you get when you book a trip with Tyler. It's the difference between a 24 incher and like a 15 incher. Nice grouper, Tyler. Oh, yeah. Talk about putting a basket together quick. Yes, we are. Look at that fish, Colin. What do you think? Hold your rod down so no one gets hooked. Good. Nice fish. Good job. Beautiful. These bottom fish have been kind of lazy. They're getting a lot more hits on dead bait. Take out your live bait and cut its tail off. Now you got a nice blood and scent trail. Pin that bait to the bottom. The baits that are rather fast, make them slow for the snapper. Come up. Red grouper. I think it's a red grouper. Just that big dead weight, they pull real hard the first 15 feet trying to get back down to that coral head or whatever bottom's down there and then it just turns into dead weight. That's a keeper. All day. Is it? Yeah, it's 22, oh, yeah, 23 inch fish. We don't catch any on the East Coast, so I don't know what they look like anymore. Is that your pinfish? Yes. Okay, so check this out. <laughs> the first bait I dropped down when we got here was this pinfish right here. And this guy decided to cough him up. That was my very first bait down. You know how I know it's mine? Because I cut the tail off and I'm pretty sure there's no pinfish down there swimming around without tails. And you had just put down a thread? Right? Yeah, they're gluttons. This guy might be sitting down there and might eat four of our baits before we hook them. But we got them this time. They got that snow pattern on them. They got the white dots. Very pretty fish. Get him up. Yeah. Alright, real. Pick it up. Real. Pick it up. Real. <laughs> Jordan's hooked up. And her dad's got a whoa, a, a really spot. nice red group. Nice right? fish. Heck yeah. Good job. You gotta stay next to your fish, Troy. Come here, you ready? Nice Look at that. Red grouper. Sweet. And Jordan's hooked up in the background. Put that on hook right there. It's incredible how many fish there are down here. Yeah. Victor's on. Victor's on a nice one. Yep. You know when you got a grouper because those mangroves will pick at it? The grouper, they just pick up and go. Oh yeah. This one feels very similar size. Did you get a grouper? Yeah. Keeper. Nice fish. Jordan got a nice one. Good job, Jordan. That's a keeper. Oh yeah. So this is like our sixth or seventh keeper right now. 
And you know the cool thing, Brick and I have never filmed a video before where we've been on a charter and there's been other people. So Troy, these are his kids, Jordan and Colin. They're 11 years old and they have been out here all day long with us since five o'clock in the morning. And I'm pretty sure they've actually caught more fish than us. Bigger red grouper, they've, they've been all-stars, catching African pompano, amber jacks and stuff. So, you know what, I'm sure some people might not know, but you can take kids out here and they do fine. I mean, these guys, seriously, all-stars. And Tyler does a great job of putting them on them, teaching them, and uh, yeah, you'll have a great time. Uh, filled up the box. You did? Good job, everybody. Hey, good did job you guys have fun? Yeah. Big thank you once again to Tyler. We got a ton of fish, and mainly it was Colin and Jordan who kicked butt today. Good job, guys. Thank you. They're a little beat. They're all out of energy. It's been it's been a really long day, but check this out. We got red grouper. Jordan caught this beautiful big mangrove snapper, and then we actually filmed the second video. Earlier today, there's some big African pompano in there. And then big thank you once again to Tyler. I'm gonna have all of his stuff linked below. I'll see you guys at the play table. And big thank you to RJ for untangling everyone's lines. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's back on the East Coast, got the red grouper on the play table. Once again, big thank you to Tyler and RJ. A lot of people don't realize those guys bust their butts out there. That's a two hour ride out, 50 miles out, and they're doing it every single day. And that's why the fishery is so good and you catch quality red grouper like this is because you go out so far. So as of late, this has been my favorite knife. It actually comes with this edge guard. This is a Dexter eight inch flexible filet. You guys can actually save 20% off. Use my code Landshark. I'm gonna have it linked below. You guys can use that at DexterOutdoors.com. So you start with the head meat right here. We're gonna go over there around the pec fin down to the belly and now we outline our fish so just the tip of our knife real superficially just going all the way down we got our outline now knife on the spine working our way up all the way to the backbone When you get to this point, you gotta break through the pin bones and also get over that pesky rib cage. The most annoying thing about snapper and grouper is that rib cage. There's that. Tail towards you, head away from you, push the knife away. And I like these you know, this flexible filet comes in a six, seven, eight, and nine inch. The eight inch is a good all around one. Just remove the pin bones and that's it. We got grouper for dinner. I'll catch you guys in the kitchen. We're gonna do a little pan seared grouper. So the first thing, since this takes the longest, just got a saute pan right here. Do about three tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm trying to get better at showing you guys all the actual steps of the cooking. And I know that some people really do like to recreate these recipes. If you guys have ever recreated one of my recipes, go ahead and comment below which one was it and did you guys like it? The shallot into the olive oil. Two, three cloves of garlic. Two cups of arborio rice. We're gonna toast this a little bit. Just take a white wine. And we're gonna deglaze. I don't know, we're gonna do like a quarter cup to half a cup. And you basically keep going until you get your rice to the consistency you want. Since this is a risotto, you're not looking for a dry rice. You're looking for a nice creamy texture. And at the very end, we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of Parmesan. Just like the last video I did for you guys, the African pompano, where you pan sear something, you wanna expose it to a really high heat. You want that crust like you get on a steak. The trick is you got your fish fillets in the fridge, right? When they sit in there, they're just gonna release water. They're gonna become soggy. You take a paper towel and you dry it right before you go to cook it. That is the key to a nice flavorful crust that's gonna lock in the flavor. Would you look at that? That was a pretty good flip, wasn't it? This is the best blackened seasoning in the world. When Brooke and I were in Panama City, we went to a little seafood market 
And this stuff, normally you get a little bottle of it for five bucks. Would you get this thing for like $10? $12 for like 10 of those little bottles in one. If you guys have never tried it, highly suggest it. It's going to be the best one until Brooke and I make our own, of course. Ooh. Yeah. So we're going to generous. You can be generous with this. It's like Christmas morning. You don't want to be a Grinch with your seasoning. Medium high heat. You want a lot of heat for this. And then I like to use avocado oil or a high smoke point oil. Do a generous amount. You guys will see that oil. I mean, it gets real hot real fast and it'll start to smoke. So once it's smoking and once you can kind of really smell it, go in with your season side down. Press it, and normally I would not try to overcrowd the pan, but just to make things simpler for a family meal, we're gonna do it. Leave it on this side, 75% of the way. Then you can either finish it up on the pan, flip it the other 25%, or you can finish it in the oven, just because I need the, uh, the stove top. I'm gonna finish it in the oven. 350 to 400 degrees. It's basically just really slowly cooking it in the oven then. Beautiful blackened crust on there. Woo! I'm gonna turn the heat to low. Some freshly grated Parmesan. We're gonna put in a little bit at a time. We're gonna go in with a little olive oil. Going in with some shrimp. Salt them, pepper, some garlic, grape tomatoes. And we're gonna add just a quarter cup of white wine. All right, that is done. Risotto's done, everything is done. And then a nice creamy, look at that risotto. Piece of grouper, and then your shrimp topping. Um, we just ate some molten lava dessert cake. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, really good. But Victor's dinner was absolutely amazing. The combination of everything together was just perfect. Um, I don't really know what to say. It was just really good. I liked it too. Um, Brooke said her friend gave her the tomatoes that were in there, which made it a little bit more special since they were from someone's garden. Um, loved it. I liked eating the grouper and the other day eating the uh, African pompano. It's, it's true, Victor can make anything taste good, but when you eat the quality fish here, it's, it's really nice. So I, I, I appreciate the quality grouper and the African pompano, the, the, it was real nice. I think there's a reason that grouper is always a main steak on any of the menus at all the local seafood restaurants. It's, it's white and flaky and delicious and Victor made another excellent meal. Grouper's always good, and Victor made another restaurant quality meal, and it was another meal that I didn't have to cook for, so thank you, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I decided I wanted to say something different. <laughs> I was just so uh, involved in my lava cake that I couldn't think. <laughs> okay, um, like everyone was talking about how great grouper is, we don't get a lot of grouper here, and especially not red grouper, and that was absolutely amazing, so big shout out to Captain Tyler for taking us out to catch that and then to share it with everyone was excellent. Big thank you to Tyler, big thank you to RJ. If you guys are interested in booking a charter with Tyler, you know, he works very hard, so does RJ. They put in the time, and then this is what you get. You don't just get to go fishing, you get a meal, you cook it for your family, and it all comes for cir full circle, and that's what's nice about this. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.